is Melanie Otto of ESC United. And if you see, I'm today with the yogis of Joker Out. Yeah. So guys, I really prepared an interview for you, but I just saw on Instagram that you had a really long 12 hours <laughs> before coming here. Can you tell me about it, the breakthrough? Because I started on social media, everyone was troubling about you, if, if you <laughs> actually could come to Den Haag. So what happened? Uh, basically what happened is, in the last five or six days, there has been a lot of snowfall in Munich mm -hmm. and it created a total chaos and a collapse of the transportation systems, uh, including air airports, and our flight was cancelled uh, twice. twice, and uh, f the first time it was cancelled, it was moved um, to an earlier flight and it was like okay we're gonna just wake up a bit earlier and catch the flight to uh, Amsterdam and then during the show the fans told us that our second flight was also cancelled <laughs> no way what was your reaction uh, it was like ah oh, ah oh, well, uh, next, well, song. next song next <laughs> song oh, <okay. Katrina. laughs> and uh, and uh, then um, this morning uh, the plan was we're gonna take a flight from Stuttgart um, because we rebooked the flight and the only problem is now was how do we get to Stuttgart and uh, we booked a Flixbus because it was like supposed to take Why a Flixbus? Because it was the only available transportation Cheap transportation. Really? Yeah, I mean, affordable. Yeah, affordable kind of, yeah, kind of affordable yeah. And of course uh, we wake up and get to the bus station and the Flixbus will not arrive for like an hour and a half extra which but it was delayed so yeah, yeah. yeah. and but that was made that would make us late for the Stuttgart flight mm -hmm. and also not make us uh, be here for the sound check and the show potentially so it was of course not an option and we somehow got uh, two um, taxis they were both supposed to be a van <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is like he, the, the guy told us yeah I'm gonna call a friend and he's gonna take you for like a lot of money um, <laughs> and uh, we just split up and thank god we put all the gear possible into the first van because the second van that came was a Toyota Corolla <laughs> and our, our team was like completely packed up in the car and sent us video they couldn't move their legs like they couldn't put their legs down so uh chaotic but we made it to Stuttgart and we made it to Den Haag mm -hmm. and we are very happy that you are here guys and it's the first time that you are in Den Haag? Thank you! Yes, thank yeah. you. Thank first you. time we're collectively in Den Haag. Yeah. Yes. I've been here a couple of times because I have a couple of friends who live here. It's a beautiful city. I love to come back to it every time. Mm -hmm. And it's not the first time that you are in the Netherlands. Um, mm -hmm. Did Chris actually learn you some Dutch words? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good. What? <laughs> what did you say? I'm not going to repeat, uh, repeat no, 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 it. No, 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 I'm not going to. No. I know it's a kind of a bad word. What did you say? I'm not going to repeat it. Why not? You already said it. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> I suppose it's like a fuck. No, it's not. It's like, ah, shit. shit. No, it, it it's can not. mean a lot of things. Yeah. It can mean a lot of things. Yeah, one of those. I'm not going <laughs> to um, But Boyan knows other the bad stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, Tell me. I believe you want to know, but I'm definitely not saying that on camera. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is it? Dankewel. Dankewel. Yeah, dankewel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I took them, I didn't uh, teach them many words, but we I took them to eat some Dutch food when we were here the last mm -hmm. time. They what kind of Dutch food? Uh, croquette. Croquette, uh, yes. And plamse friet met mayonnaise. Um, but that's Flemish, it's not Dutch. Yeah. But Oh! 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 Yeah, oh yeah. God, I know, but it's a scammer. <laughs> I have, I know one thing that Chris always says in Dutch interviews. What? Yeah, I speak it all Netherlands. Well, that's good. But you, know, you only gave them this coquettes and frites. That's yes, the only thing. that's that's how much time we had. And McDonald's. <laughs> and KFC. And if, you have, Dutch McDonald's. if you have any suggestions, like maybe I, I have to get them some erte soup or something like Erte that. soup. Yeah. Well, what's that? It's a pea soup. Yeah, it's very much pea soup. Very Dutch. Well, well, we, we tried pie. Pie. What kind of shepherd's pie in Glasgow? Remember? Uh, yeah, your, 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 your granny brought us 
Yeah, but that was just a generic apple pie. Aha, yeah, but that's not that. Okay. No. Maybe some something like some sausage brochures or something like that. Yes, sausage brochures. No, no, no. But we like we when we were in Liverpool. Um, <laughs> Didn't you guys take us to Greg's or something? Waffles. No, 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 no. We ate no, no, no. Waffles. We're so baffled. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, we did have those. Yeah, I've gotten mm. some we good free ones. Oh, really? Yeah? Yeah, how they are they? They were good. Yeah? Ooh, they were the Katastrophe. Katastrophe. A lot of the fans today are bringing us Kraidenauter. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because it's the class. class. It's the class. I also got that... The, 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 the Grand Nota? Yeah, in, in uh, gluten free form. <laughs> yes. So you are getting a lot of gluten free food. Yeah, 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 yeah that's nice, be. that's nice. <laughs> but this also is in the class avant, of course. Do you know what the class avant is? Yeah, of course. We also have Sin. Uh, we yes, call yes. Sveti Nikolai. Okay. Yeah. So we all are giving each other presents tonight, or not? We are each other's presents. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. That's so sweet. <laughs> That's a cheap answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we gave each other a very expensive ride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we treated ourselves with the most expensive two hour ride. But was it luxury? Was it like a nice ride? Or was it just like, oh my god, no, I just want it to... Was it was just so expensive. Though. Ours was ours was okay. I mean, we mm -hmm. were in a van and we could sit properly, but the team really had the most expensive, terrible ride in the world. In a Toyota Corolla. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's better than my Fiat 500, so oh, come it's on, better. It's a cute car. It is, it is, but I can take you all from München to Den Haag, so that's, that's the right. So, guys, we all are also a Eurovision channel, so we have to discuss Eurovision, and it's like kind of your anniversary because it's almost a year ago that you guys were announced yeah. to be the Slovenian representative mm -hmm. of Eurovision. So, did you ever thought that a year later you will be um, playing at a salt out uh, venue in the Netherlands? Um, a year ago. I'm pretty sure that one year ago we were sitting in our rehearsal space and just debating whether this was possible or not as mm -hmm. like the ultimate dream mm -hmm. um, and had a lot of doubts about it and a lot of talks of how we should prepare for Eurovision and what should we do to make this possible and uh, we're happy to say that obviously we did some right moves and we made it possible. Mm -hmm. What did you think that you did right to achieve this? Mm, I'm pretty sure that the most important thing is we stayed ourselves through the whole time. Um, we didn't um, pretend to be something we weren't just for the period of Eurovision. Um, kept it real between ourselves and everyone else, and uh, the energy just like transmitted from us from us to to the crowd. And now we are one big happy family growing each day. Mm -hmm. And Chris, looking back at Eurovision, what was your favorite moment of the whole experience? That's a tough question to answer. Uh, winning. What? <laughs> <Marine> winning. <laughs> <laughs> was it? <laughs> no, man. But, um, like, getting through in the semi-finals, that was a really special moment. Mm -hmm. um, that was, like, maybe the most concentrated, like, pure uh, happiness that we got out of the whole Eurovision experience. But um, on a general kind of, let's say, long, long scale, Timeline. I think it's. It was just all of the pre parties were incredibly nice because we got the chance to meet all of the artists and not even not only meet them but get to know them. And by the time we got to to Liverpool, it meant that we were friends, not competitors. And it just this energy has been going all the way through even after Eurovision. I mean, we've been just talking about that we at least like a third of the Eurovision acts we've seen after Eurovision and even performed with some of them, which was which was great. And every time we come somewhere, there's like to a different country. There's one of the Euro Eurovision acts usually somewhere, somewhere around. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, me and Nikolai is coming. Oh really? Yes, yes. actually yeah. opening for us. Yes. Oh uh, wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So looking back um, at Eurovision, you experienced a lot. Is that something that you learned during that experience that you made you a better artist today, Nata? Maybe to to look at the cameras at the right moment. <laughs> No, smile and wave. Smile and wave. Just smile, yeah. smile and wave, boys. Just smile and wave. Yeah. And not a book a flight via Istanbul. Like <laughs> <laughs> that. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, we flew from Liverpool to Istanbul and then from Istanbul to Ljubljana. Yeah. And, and, and also the one we went to Liverpool. So yeah, we yeah. had the wor we had the worst connection, <laughs> the worst connecting flight possible from Ljubljana to to Liverpool. It would take you like two hours, two and a half hours maybe. Who is booking your flights, guys? 
Well, the fellow, <laughs> I mean, the <laughs> broadcaster booked those flights. Okay, 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 I understand that. So it's not your fault. No. No. So now you also you competed at Eurovision, and but you watched the show before, right? Do you look different now to the contest? Uh, mm. Now you even uh, competing at it than before? Uh, not sure because a new Eurovision hasn't happened yet. No, uh, it's yeah. all yeah, it's almost. I want to come. It's starting slowly. Yeah, the season. but um, it's it's really interesting to to kind of. Uh, let's say humanize all the artists on stage mm -hmm. um, because when you watch Eurovision it, it always feels like this gigantic show when all the artists come on stage and they perform and you're like very quick to judge of course because mm -hmm. you're just there to like enjoy not enjoy give your opinion what, whatever and uh, now I'm pretty sure that when I'm gonna watch watch Eurovision and all of us um, I think we're gonna be looking for what's he like in the backstage, what were the parties like, mm -hmm. <laughs> thinking about those things, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see if we're going to be thinking about the pre-parties when they start happening, because yeah. prior to this year we never thought about Eurovision before, like, May, it happened, you know, yeah. before it happened. Cool. And this time we'll probably have a lot of friends who will be posting from these pre-parties. Uh, yeah. 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 And I'm interested to see how, how that's going to play out. We should go to some. Yeah, you <laughs> should. We should. We should. When, but yeah, that's, yeah. Some. that's when we're on tour. Maybe we, maybe uh, we were like in a place where the pre party is happening. Huh? London. Maybe. We London. London could yeah. collide with the. Yes, that would could be fun. The UK tour. Mm -hmm. Okay, see yes. for it, yeah. <laughs> That would be so fun. <laughs> and next week, the next Slovenian representative will be announced. Next week? Yeah, already. next week already. Yeah, 12th of December. Really? What? what? Yeah. What? You didn't know it? Yeah, no. it was no, announced no, no, no. today. Yes. Oh, oh, it was oh, announced you today. You didn't know? Yeah, yeah, you didn't know. Yeah, you were on the flight. Oh, no, we were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they will announce so next week the new Slovenian representative. What advice would you give the next act that will be representing Slovenia? What you wish you c could have before going to the Eurovision stage, Jan? Uh, Thank you. Before you said. Um, before you, you ended your sentence, yeah. I would just ad advise them to, to sing well, which, <laughs> I, which I think is um, a good advice. But um, I think somehow we didn't end up unprepared, which, um, and I don't think any advice we, were, we would be given beforehand would, um, would make us any... Uh, would, hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, you know yeah, what I mean. I mean, with uh, I, I, I can't speak. Like I, I slept for two hours. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 make us more prepared than we yeah, were. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So I think they should do the same. They should just uh, go with the flow and. It's, <laughs> but uh, wait, they should change I the name to joke aloud. I <laughs> would tell them. <laughs> the yeah. But well, yeah, like prepare as much though. as you can. Yeah, prepare, prepare as, as much as you can. Yeah. I mean, ah. you have to look. But, at, you have but, to look back. Like we prepared really a lot. Yeah, we did, but we didn't know what to. Expect. We didn't somehow end up prepared. We like, we were in the rehearsal space twenty four yeah, seven. Of course, I mean, yeah, you should there. prepare. But when you were there, you like you were. until you were on the pre parties and. In your vision, you so don't you're kind of know what to expect. So nothing can prepare you. Is yeah, what you're yeah. saying? That's true. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's true. Kind of like that. You should do all the work before pre parties. Yeah. 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 And what kind of work then? Everything. Yeah. Re everything That's regarding the everything rise, regarding, yeah. regarding the performance. I you think should just start enjoying the, the yeah. Eurovision boat pre party. I think <laughs> de defining what you are as an act, not in Eurovision, but like mm -hmm. outside of Eurovision. So knowing what you are and who you are as an artist first of all um, to not get lost in this like really busy sea of currents um, and uh, well knowing what you are going to show on the Eurovision stage because once it gets real it gets like very intense and uh, having a good team around you mm -hmm. that knows what you're doing is probably the best thing that can be made and try to connect with people as much as you can. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a nice answer. So guys, your tour is almost ending now. And then you are going, if I'm correct, to London 
to work on your new album. So why did you guys decide to go to London? Um, we decided to go to London because it's the capital of uh, Brit rock music, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, the bands that we like, um, the vibe that we like, uh, the energy that we like is somewhere around there. And we also need a change of energy and a change of place um, because once a lot of thing ha things happen to you and once you're stuck in the same kind of environment creatively, um, it really helps to just change it and like have your mind um, in an unknown situation open to like maybe things that you weren't aware of before because you know when you're used to something um, in your everyday life you start missing little things that happen around you and we just kind of want to open our mind to things that are around us all the time but we don't see them anymore maybe. And are, are you also going to do this process differently because you already have two very successful albums. Is this process going to be different than the process of uh, producing the other two albums? I think so. I think we're going to play ar play around with the music a lot, jam mm -hmm. a lot, um, and just be in the rehearsal space and putting music together on the spot and really just like outsort. I mean, uh, outflowing the things from our heads that are like that we're channeling from everywhere, mm -hmm. just like straight into the music. So when are you actually the most creative? At night. At me. night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you? Um, yeah, I guess also at night, but m like more generally, I'd say in between, in between uh, tours or concerts. When you have a day or two, like when you just go out and jam it in a in a rehearsal space, that's when I personally feel I can put the most into the music because you're just your head is so filled with stuff and you just want to get it out. And a guitar is a good way to do it. Mm -hmm. And now, so this is going to be your first album that you are going to be involved creatively. <coughs> what can we expect from you on this album? Is there going to be like a distinctive sound of you that we are going to see on this album that we haven't heard before on the Choke Out albums? I'm, I'm not sure, but, but, but you, I think you can hear my influence already on like Carpe Diem and Sunny Side of London. In which way? I don't know. You should ask the. We the call it. Guys. We call it uh, uh, Gorenska Samba. <laughs> <laughs> Gorenska is the region of Slovenia yeah. where Nazi yeah. comes from, and Samba because it's it's kind of like a, a triplet kind of um, triplet. Samba, yeah, samba, samba, samba feel. Samba, samba actually feel. has a samba feel. Does it? Yes, it does. Yeah. 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 It, it's, it's really yeah. it's really it's subtle. Hidden. It's really subtle, yeah. but it's, but it's essential. Like it, it was before we before our producer suggested this in the studio, we. Um, the song really didn't work as well as it does now. Okay, nice, nice. So that can we expect from you. So it will be more samba. Korenska samba. Okay, so it will be more Korenska samba. Is it also going to be the album title? Korenska <laughs> samba. <laughs> Not for this album, but it should definitely <laughs> that should definitely be an album. That should be a solo album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my solo album. Okay, so we can Gorenska expect samba. a Korenska samba solo from you. <laughs> on all streaming pl platforms <laughs> soon. <laughs> soon. We can wait for it. <laughs> also, Chris, I just saw some videos of you also singing during the performances. Mm -hmm. Can we also expect you singing on the new album? Uh, probably not. Uh, Why not? I don't really have a desire to, to sing like a, a lead vocalist. I, I enjoy singing backing vocals and I love the moment I have on stage because it's my song, it makes a lot of sense. Um, and it, because it's such a naive and like pure song, it it makes sense to let the, the, the person who wrote it sing it for just at least that one verse. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, I don't feel like I really want to be singing right now. Maybe someday if I want to do a solo album or something like that, but I think... Wait, I wait, think wait, a solo album? No, it's maybe someday, maybe, mm -hmm. I don't know. But I think Joker Out works Artists better. can have solo albums. Yeah, I know, I know, but I didn't expect it from Chris. I think Joker Out's purest form is Boyan on the vocal and me on the guitar and back vocal. Okay, that's a nice encore. So we can't expect a Dutch song on the new album? Well, that's another question. Okay. But you'll have to ask, ask Boyan if he's prepared to so Boyan, endure are that. are you going too. to sing a Dutch song <laughs> on the new album? Thank you, El, yeah. <laughs> It'll be just a Dutch interlude of Boyan yeah, saying yeah, yeah. crude Dutch things. I speak it all Netherlands. I speak it all Netherlands. Okay, 
Alright guys, so I also checked Whoa, out... I think it's your favorite sentence in Dutch, or not? What? No, it's not. Nederlands. Yeah, I speak also Nederlands. You don't know any <laughs> other Dutch sentences. I know a few, but... <laughs> Can you say, Amsterdam heeft 88 prachtige grachten? No, oh, wow. is that waar? I don't know if it's true, but oh, it's okay. my favorite sentence to let you go. Amsterdam heeft 88 88 prachtige prachtige grachten grachten and now you want to this Amsterdam I forgot to give them for 88 grachten almost okay okay guys so I just wanted to ask some because I checked out your social media and I have one big question to you Nathan how does someone forget to wear his shoes on stage <laughs> because they, I, I've, I've gotten blister from them. Oh really? Yeah, and I just put them off. What? How did that happen? In, in uh, Serbia. Novi Sad, yeah. yeah, Serbia. Yeah. Ah, all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Novi Sad was full of. Not quite, quite as interesting was... answer as no, you're no, talking I, about. No, no, actually, actually, very funny <laughs> answer. But I was like, I saw the TikTok and I was like, how could that happen? <laughs> He's in his hippie era. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I understand, I understand. <laughs> oh my god, that's a hippie era. era. <laughs> Come on, that would be cool. Yeah, but you'll have to lose the socks as well. <laughs> yeah, well, well, maybe, one day. So guys, um, I have to wrap this up a little bit. Um, so guys, uh, do you have some special message still for your fans uh, regarding everything was happening now? Because you still have a new tour, your tour is ending now. Do you want to say something? What is Ooh, actually your I favorite do. thing about your fans? About our fans? Yeah, let's ask, <laughs> let's do that question first. What's your favorite thing about first your thing, fans? First thing, I would say that our fans have to be extremely intelligent. Why? Because they've managed to learn so many lyrics in a as foreign as it gets language for them, most of them. Um, in such a complete manner like when we have concerts if you don't know that you're not in Slovenia you wouldn't know during the gig because they're singing so loud and so well so that's one thing for sure uh, the second thing is um, I would say they're very how do I say it mm, family-ish mm -hmm. in which way? To, uh, they're very like warm and pay attention to close details and like focus on all of us personally mm -hmm. Um, really, like they they know exactly which gifts they, they yeah, give right. us, like like really personalized gifts. Uh, yes, what kind of gifts? I, I've got <laughs> yesterday. Some girl <laughs> brought me the the like I was talking to her a few weeks ago about. <laughs> you, do you know Karia's double? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, Aria, yeah, yeah, Aria, yeah. That I love that I love his merch, and she brought yeah. me a, a t-shirt like with Hoyan. Which is like uh, his, impersonation. his impersonation of Boya. Really? Yeah, he's. That's a new thing. Wearing oh, you're wearing it. Yeah. Show it to us. So, Hadia plus <laughs> Boya. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Wait. Uh, uh, uh. Well, we no, 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 no. Turn it. Turn it around to the camera. Oh, no, turn, turn it around. Oh. Every time. Boya. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So someone made that for you? Yeah, the yeah. girl did. After like talking for a few minutes in yeah. somewhere in Poland, I think Poznan. Mm -hmm. And we got yeah. like we got so many uh, books that are handwritten with all the messages from people around the world sending uh, oh, like yeah. positive messages to us, and a lot of drawings, a lot of like we gotten uh, personalized sweaters, personalized personalized hats today. Um, personalized rings. 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 Yeah, I'm wearing one right now. Yeah. Today no. we got yeah. Today we got personalized rings that are made from vintage spoons. Oh, nice. Yeah. So each one is different. So you actually also made. wear everything, use everything. You I mean, try to wear as much as possible. Mm -hmm. You cannot wear everything because otherwise we would be dressed in these things. <laughs> well, that also be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one day for like Halloween or something. Album mm -hmm. cover. <laughs> no, I want to say one important thing yeah, about yeah. the tour. Back your performance. You said if we have something to say about yeah, the tour. Yeah, tell us, tell us. Uh, I want to tell the world that uh, the 2024 March and a bit of April tour. Yeah. 
um, will be very special for us because um, next year <coughs> we are releasing obviously the third album mm -hmm. um, but it's going to be released sometime in the fall yeah um, but we are going to use the April and uh, the March and April tour um, to try out the new songs oh, live. Really? so it is going to be I'm pretty sure very special because the songs that we're gonna do aren't going to be in the complete form so it's going to be kind of the seeing the progression of songs maybe mm -hmm. and just trying them out and seeing what works what not so that's what uh, that tour will be the first of that kind for us so you are playing the song live yeah all the new songs oh uh, we're not gonna play all the songs no. but i'm pretty sure like we're gonna throw in for a gig like two or mm -hmm. three songs that we're gonna feel like okay they're ready mm -hmm. uh, let's see what how they work for us on stage and yeah. how the fans react um, and if they don't react well are you also like well let's cut that no but yeah. um i'm pretty sure that like <laughs> yeah it's possible like, yeah, of course of course yeah, it's, yeah. it's a possibility it um but um i'm sure that if we're gonna love what's happening mm -hmm. uh, on stage the crowd is also gonna like it um so if it's not gonna work for us we're gonna change it if it works for us and doesn't work for the crowd well sorry <laughs> um but uh yeah it's going to be really really uh Kind of, it's gonna be very special. Uh, each show is gonna be different, mm -hmm. which I'm looking forward to a lot. Yeah, and where are you going to play then? <laughs> Tell us, every country, every city. Do now we have a, okay, uh, open your phone. Yeah. Okay, so we have a very important. Estonia, Latvia, Litva. So, Poland. so the the tour is going Germany. to be uh, okay. So we have two concerts in Helsinki. Uh, one concert in Tallinn, one concert in Riga, one Vilnius, uh, then we're playing Krakow, Berlin, Leipzig, Malmo, Göteborg, Oslo, Hamburg, Utrecht, Paris, Utrecht. Antwerp, Utrecht. Uh, Köln, Munich, Milan, Padova, London, <laughs> Manchester and Glasgow. Amazing. Guys, thank you very much for this interview. Thank we you can't so much. wait for, to see your show tonight in Den Haag. Thank you. And of Thanks. course, the other shows tomorrow in Amsterdam, of course. And see you guys in 2024. And share it all. And uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, see you the next time. And enjoy Eurovision 24. Bye bye. Yeah.